Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 12 of Christy's from Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Series 13 and today's sketch is by Sandra Lee. Sandra is on Instagram. She's not on YouTube. I'll have her Instagram handle down below and she is also part of our Sketch Sunday crew so I'm sure you've seen some of her lovely work. Now, the sketch is a fun one. I like this type of sketch. It's got some layers. It really lets the pattern paper shine through. It has some embellishment, but not too, too much. Now, I did my embellishing a little bit differently, except for down here, but I'll get to that in a moment. So, of course, I am using my uh, Mercy Tara Kits kit, uh, Take Me Home, the September kit. And this is a paper kit that I put together with you when I was unboxing the kit. I'll put that video up, no, over on this side, I think is where it shows, just so that you can see where I had this lovely pattern paper. And then this is the A and B side of the pattern paper. And I did use both of those on this layout. And this will be in Adela's album. Of course, it's her 21st birthday, the birthday cake. This was a lovely little party all the girls had uh, in uh, Adela's backyard. So, and the cake is like a nice bright orange. So I loved the colors in this paper kit that, to go along with the photos. Now these these two pieces of paper are not from the kit and these were just on my desk. These my friends are actually dividers in the Happy Planner. I bought the Happy Planner two years in a row um, and sort of the second year I bought just the inserts but some of these papers were really really lovely and I was playing around with the divider so that I could turn it into sort of like an 18 month planner and I had lots of kitty dividers which I really wanted in the planner and that left me some papers left over and this was just sort of sitting on my desk and I said oh my look how perfect that matches so I took it in exactly the size it was cut it down so that I could do the same principle that Sandra has on her sketch and then I put my papers down and I felt they sort of um, just sort of blended into the background a little too much. So I got my Stormy Sky Distress ink in Stormy Sky and I inked all my edges of these papers and of these two. Now this one is cut in the middle so I could get it to be longer because otherwise I think it would have only been, you know, maybe just, just, just showing. So I popped that behind, got these two papers down pretty much as they are in the sketch. Then I went into the ephemera and I found this, but which could have been a journaling block, but I, these are not my layouts to journal on. So there is some room still if Adela wants to journal maybe up here or I could pop another one here. So I'll see with her what she would like to do. But I sort of thought this was just perfect to overlap both photos and come down and overlap this space a little bit but still let uh, the photos shine. So I popped that there. And then I went into the letter the alphas that I had put with the kit, but none of them had the numbers that I needed. So I went into my stash and I found this set called Meadow. I have no idea how long I have had these. It says 2012 here, probably since 2012, because as you know, I got the embellishment kit, the paper kit, and the cardstock kit. That's how I'm doing my Take Me Home kit this month. Then these little bits, I did some fussy cutting from 49 and Market 
uh, Tranquility, which is my collection Obsession, and you'll see that video uh, next week, I think, sometime. But I had um, a couple of things left on my desk. This is a chipboard that I had left over from another layout that I just popped there because I thought the colors matched perfectly, and two little fussy cut florals that I popped with this lovely die cut from the kit and I think that is really really cute and I liked it there and then I popped this little journaling spot there and my original idea was to put the 21 there then I got the foam stickers out and there was yummy but I thought maybe I could just put yum I wonder if that would be cute and I thought I would test it and PSA I think I've said this before these stick my friends like nobody's business now on the paper if you work really really quick and you just sort of lay it down very gently you can get, still get the letters back up but on the photo there was no way it was just stuck there and I would have ruined the photo and the letter so I was testing it when I looked I wasn't sure that is really what I did want but <laughs> that's what it wanted my friends so it is there so we'll we'll live with it I mean it's fine it's fine. I, when I did the testing, I think I would have wanted maybe something else, but there you go. It's fine. So that's when I decided to pop these two florals there with this one up on foam to sort of make it a little bit more complete and to have less of this little journaling spot showing since there really wasn't much I could do with it once the yum was down. So there you go, my friends, day 12 of hashtag 30DSCBL13 is in the books. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. The playlist, of course, where you can find everybody's videos is down below, as well as the link to the Facebook group. And I'm just going to say again... We would love, love, love to have you come and join us over on the Facebook group. But please, please make sure you answer all of the questions. There has been quite a flurry of activity. Now, I'm, I'm pre-recording this uh, more than a week ahead, so th this may not apply anymore. But I, I felt I should mention again, please, because if you don't answer the questions... It's just an automatic decline. And, and that's not because we want to know anything more about you. It's really just to keep the bots, the sellers, the whatever out of the group. But if you don't answer the questions or you only answer one of them, it will be an automatic decline. Uh, try and also be as specific as you can when you answer uh, one of the questions questions so that we you know can really know because I've actually had an experience where uh, the the questions were answered and it was very 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 obvious that it was not a scrapbook or no nor somebody that really wanted to to join so be a little specific if you would like to have your friends join us rather than invite them because then I don't believe they can answer the questions I'm not quite sure how that works but perhaps let them know, provide them the link, and get them to join. And they can then, as part of their answers, let us know that you recommended them for the group. Off my soapbox, thank you for being here, my friends. And I will see you very, very shortly, hopefully tomorrow. Bye for now.